In the human resource profession, sexual harassment offenses are considered especially heinous. In the University of Alberta, the dedicated human resource professionals are members of an elite squad known as the Charter Professionals in Human Resources. These are their stories. So, what are you thinking? Now that we've finished, we've graduated uh, with our human resources degrees, we have them under our belts, what do you think of, of doing for your next career move? I definitely want to get another designation. I feel like that just makes sense. But what are you thinking about? I think, I'm think i thinking of pursuing the national designation, um, you know, like the Charter uh, Professionals and Human Resources. You know, I just think that's like, a good fit for me. What about you? Yeah, I mean, that's fair if that's like where you want to be at. But I'm definitely thinking about Ontario and the CHRE. I just think it's like oh. that next level up. Oh, well, like, I feel like the Canadian, the Canada-wide designation is, like, pretty good. And, like, it's where what Canada accepts. So, like, I think I'm happy with it. Yeah, if, like, you're good with the baseline. I feel like, why wouldn't you just go get the executive one? I mean, like, this is the one that, like, can the rest of Canada only has one designation. And, you know, Ontario is the only province that has three. So, like, it's good enough for Canada. I think it's good enough for me. Sure. Okay. Did someone say designation? Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm John. And it's time to lace up and learn a lesson on designation. Sounds like you two need a little bit more information on what an HR designation is all about. Let's live and learn. To help these soon-to-be HR grads find out whether or not they should focus on a designation in HR, we decided to take a look at a lot of research, articles, and studies about HR. We put the source in human resource. We've also done interviews with two HR managers who have two different jobs and two completely different perspectives in the field. Right? Let's get into it. So, let's go over the basics. John, give us the rundown. Well, first off, these are very recent issues. And not only that, the poor kids' textbooks aren't even up to date. For organization, it says CCHRA and not CPHR, which was changed in 2016. The designation also went from a certification to actually a chartered professional. Well, looking at the Ontario designation, they decided to go with a three-tier system, with the entry level being professional, mid-level being leadership, and the highest level being executive. And this is the exact reason why Canada changed their designation to CPHR, so it didn't match the entry level Ontario designation. John, what'd you do to your hair? Just kidding everyone, this is Faye. Thanks Austin. So now that we've learned about the types of designations you can get in Canada, let's see, why would you want to get one? I am currently the Director of Workforce Transition for the Department of Service Alberta in the provincial government. I'm the Assistant Manager at Swinland, and as part of that I'm in charge of all the HR umbrella, so hiring, firing, training, and performance management, that kind of stuff. Um, so do you have a designation in Human Resources, and why or why not? I do have a designation in Human Resources. I obtained my designation actually a year after I graduated with my degree. So back then you were eligible to um, proceed with obtaining your designation shortly after. So I started the process immediately after completing my degree um, and then a year later after a year of experience I had it. I think it's important to um, distinguish yourself within your career, especially starting out that when compared to other candidates, um, to be able to show that you have pursued something um, through the stream in which you're specializing in um, distinguishes you, I think, from other candidates. What benefits of obtaining designation could be provided in your area of work? And so we've sort of listed a, a few examples here, so in terms of um, promotions or pay increases, um, as well as job stability. So I think not necessarily job stability or salary increases, but I think in terms of just um, starting your career within government and dis distinguishing yourself from others. In the government of Alberta, we don't necessarily require the designation as part of roles within human resources. But if I were to look at a number of candidates who, let's say, had the same number of experience, and the same uh, amount of education, and one had their designation and the other didn't, all things considered equal, I would tend to defer to the individual that had their designation 
as a way of again continuing to pursue you know their education and their knowledge with our specialty and knowing that they would have to maintain that through the professional development. Now let's hear about the current state of the HR designation in Canada. Do you have any comments on the current situation regarding the HR designation in Canada as a whole? I think um, with the designation it's becoming more prominent and becoming more recognized. I think the change from certification to that of being a chartered designation um, was a good change, but I think there needs to be more to be done with respect to making it more forefront for organizations and employers to really understand the importance of it and to make it more of a requirement um, as part of the roles we hold within human resources. So what trend can you identify? Um, I think when we look at HR as a whole, um, that we have a lot of employers, the expectations and risks associated with employers are increasing and so are the liabilities. So I think having a body that is regulated and is a requirement as part of your role within human resources is going to be even more critical because that ensures that us as professionals are current and up to date on what is going on in our field. What I found especially in my past experience focusing on labor relations and employee relations is things are becoming a lot more complex. Um, the issues going to human rights, going through grievances, going, going to the courts are a lot more complicated than they were before and things are evolving at a very rapid rate. So ensuring that we're on top of it, so I think um, that is a trend that is in need to be focused on and highlighted for sure. So what do you think are some challenges in the HR designation? What I've found is those that have been more established in their career don't necessarily see the value as much as those that are um, early in their career or established, or starting to establish their career, I should say. So I think understanding how we can make the designation um, more apparent, how we can brand it, how we can change it to be more of a requirement. Um, because I think those that have been more established in their career don't necessarily have the designation, so that's why we don't see it in a lot of the advertisements that we have in the provincial government, is because they're more focused on education and experience, naturally. But I think also the importance of what this designation can be mm -hmm. should be marketed a little bit better, or can be, I should say. Because you don't have an HR designation, what was the learning curve like um, in your position in regards to human resource? Straight up, straight up learning curve. Like yeah. there's, I came into it just with my basic knowledge from previous employment, so how other employers handled me. Um, and I was part of a union when I worked at um, Safeway, so that's kind of where I drew some of that background from, was just like how they operated. Um, and then from there, I drew off of the consultant that we hire. Um, the first time I'd experienced something and I didn't know how to handle it, I'd ask her and then I'd learn moving forward. Why have you an, as an HR position for a manager and an HR consultant? Why not both? Yeah. Oh, so I don't get anything wrong. So I'm like the day-to-day -day person, so I can do all the basics. Um, but then we've had a few different situations here where it was above what I knew how to handle or what our managers knew how to handle. So um, we had our lawyers and our HR consultants both involved in those situations to make sure we didn't get it wrong. So knowing what our HR interviewees know now, let's see if they would go down the same path. Would you say designation is required? Again, I think it's more critical early in the career when we're assessing individuals but I think as people become later on in their career and we're looking at the more executive level of positions in human resources we tend to focus more importantly on the experience um, and ensuring that they're the right candidate for the job. What advice would you give to a young HR interested professional entering the labor force uh, related to pursuing a designation? I would say go for it. There really is no downside. And again, I really do think it distinguishes yourself from other candidates um, entering the workforce or early in your career because it shows that you know um, you're current in your profession, that you're up to date, that you're pursuing more education by virtue of the designation. And um, I would encourage people to, to continue and pursue it. And I think as more people do, the number of us uh, that are designated increases and the more prevalent it becomes in our uh, industry and um, the, the better we can make the profession as a whole. If like, you had to go back and do it again, you would probably take the same route, not like an HR designation route? Yes. Now that I'm in this role, there is some side training I'd love to do, but I don't know if the designation would be something that I'd go back and do. 
So now we've taken a look at the different types of designations that you can get within Canada. We've also assessed the path of getting a designation versus not obtaining one. And so with that being said, we can see that getting a designation in your career definitely helps you to start jumpstart this career and gives you more credibility while you're in your position. Looks like these girls have a lot more to talk about. Mm -hmm.